Hi. I'm so excited to be up here. Oh my gosh, so much happened this year. It was one year of trying to pick up momentum, turning it around, and just this year everything happened. So it was one year of being more in alignment with who I really am so that the momentum which always comes took me more in the direction of what I wanted to be rather than in the direction of what I don't want to be. Yeah. And the reason that it was such a fantastic year is because I was aware of what I was doing. So as the momentum ensued and things were unfolding, I could feel my hands in the clayness of it. Oh yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about the year before that. Yeah. <laughs> but it brought me to here. Yeah. And it filled your vortex full of wonderful things. So many things. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote a book in like four weekends. I just wrote it. Yeah. Submitted to a publisher. Yeah. Went to Hawaii twice. Yeah. Met Wayne Dyer. Now I'm here. Yeah. I won the lottery. Yeah. I won the lottery. <laughs> Three Tell times. him it was $100,000. $100, it was really close. It was close. I was one digit away from $90 million like one digit I said that for like three days one one digit but then I was so excited right because <laughs> there was still some money there and so my question and I kind of know the answer but I'd like to hear it from you because I'm, I'm that guy in the back row probably knows right there <laughs> <laughs> we are not making fun of you we are appreciating every single thing you said and we liked the thoughtfulness with which you said it and you're right on track and we think it's a good idea for you to keep writing things down as they are inspired to you because they are really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. And I took a lot of naps before I won the lottery. I was napping frequently. Yeah. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> So, okay, so my question. So I have this impulse to go and get my real estate license. And I have time to do it. I have allowance to do it with, to go. When the idea occurred to you, can you recapture that thought? Not so much what the thought was, but the feeling of the thought when it came? Yeah, it was like... Was it a burst of enthusiasm? Did it feel like a really good idea? Yeah. 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 And I, I'm Those not... are the ones you want to follow. Okay. I just it feel like that. It's follow them. Okay. Yeah. And now you're seeing it, so of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, and it really, it really, like, I can't see the whole picture. Of course not. And what I've learned is you don't need to. But that's why that burst of enthusiasm is all the picture you need for right now. That's the thing. You all say, well, yeah, I'll do it if you'll show me what's next and next and next and next and next. And then by needing to see something that you can't see, now you're doing exactly the same thing to these thoughts turning to things that you were doing by facing the reality that doesn't hold what you want. Just take the impulse and follow it and trust that there's going to be another and another and another. There always will be. But when you second guess it, when you get your head too much into it, when you talk yourself out of it, you disallow the momentum from getting going, then yeah. that's why the nap helped her win the lottery. <laughs> yeah. And don't you think it's interesting the sequence of events that take place here today? We're not kidding you when we say your inner being knows what you want and knows where it is and knows the path of least resistance that will help you to understand it. Sometimes when you're asking it outright, you're not in the place, but as you're listening into other things, then you get it. You see? Yeah. Yeah. So I want to go get my real estate license and I also would like to win the jackpot. And so do I just, but feel the difference between the impulse to get the real estate license and the idea of winning the jackpot. Yeah. Feel the difference between the idea of winning the jackpot and the impulse to go buy a ticket. Yeah. Can you feel the difference? We want you to focus on the impulse because you think yourself out of impulses. We're just going to say it to you this way and take it the way we mean it because it's going to sound a little like we're beating up on you, but we're really not only just a little bit. <laughs> so the impulse comes to you in a flash. And you know why it's usually a flash because you're usually so negative. It can only squeak in on occasion. <laughs> so the flash comes and you go, Oh wow. And then you kill it immediately <laughs> by facing reality. And so the reason that those impulses come in flashes and the reason that you feel insecure about following them is because you haven't accomplished the mastery of staying in the receptive mode, but with not much more than you have accomplished as a result of just listening into today 
you can get into that receptive mode and you can master it so much so that you know when you're in it and you know when you're not in it and then you will know which impulses are the ones that are going to pay off to something that you want and which impulses are going to pay off to something that you don't want which is the impulse that buys the winning ticket and you're going to only by experiencing it know which is which yeah. yes by the way it feels that felt like this and it turned out like this that felt like yearning and it turned out like this that felt like enthusiasm and it turned out like this yeah. that felt just a whimsical thing and it turned out like this that felt like drama and the rest of my life was depending on it and it turned out like this <laughs> in other words what's the receptive mode that you are in yeah 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 and right after I won the lottery I was like I can do anything so I really tried to win the lottery after that and that did not feel <laughs> like it didn't feel on track now this is the most important conversation that we've ever had with anybody about anything in regards to deliberate creating so you had an experience and let's isolate it let's talk about how that experience happened that was an impulse from alignment that led to that but then the next ones were not impulses that came from alignment they were conjuring and thinking and working and efforting and planning and plotting and defending and justifying and yeah and then the lottery Can, went up. are you getting this yeah. Right. yeah and it went up to like 1.5 billion and I kept thinking why is nobody winning and I like went into this place but then before that I was playing like I was playing with oh look my favorite numbers there your words are the most important words that have ever been spoken in a seminar they're your words. I was playful. I felt <laughs> playful. Yeah. I felt playful and therefore I was in the receiving mode. And in my playfulness, I just followed it, even though it wasn't even rational, maybe. Yeah. So these are the things that we want you to consider that have been received by you just now, today. You now know that your inner being is aware of where you are in relationship to what you want you know that right now you know that and so if your inner being knows where you are in relationship to what you want isn't it logical that you would want your inner being to tell you now what you know about your inner being what does that mean what frame of mind do you have to be in are you on your knees praying from need is that the receptive mode or are you in appreciation are you in applauding are you in sincere appreciation of positive aspects of something are you light or are you heavy are you easy or are you tense are you worried or are you feeling free are you struggling or are you happy this is what we're talking about get into that happy place and do whatever it takes to get there and then watch what happens and then notice the correlation between I felt like this and that happened and I felt like that and that happened because words don't teach it's only life experience that teaches yeah. really good I'll really good thank you yeah.